It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Anne's Batch and Hob Day in London. And this is their Cream Ale. It's 4.5% ABV, coming in at a 440 milliliter can. Really love the branding on the can. I always have. you got your kind of newer world baseball player there versus your older world baseball player there you know we've got a cravat on um what you know a belt on more formal and then the new age one a bit more protection as well with the headgear and everything's a bit more baggy you know you can imagine whacking that ball a bit more with the uh, having looser cold um looser clothes on here we go oh bit of a lively opener I'm gonna say at this stage I'm gonna say at this stage um, this is not a hoppy beer so I get sent quite a lot of hoppy beer and as a reviewer the golden rule is that you review your hoppy beer first so naturally lots of hoppy beer coming my way reviewing all of that first unfortunately and Spatch and Hob Days the Cream Ale has taken a back seat for, for probably, you know, a fair few months. It's still fresh, it's still a fresh beer, but um, that's probably a consequence. My problem, not the, not the brewer's prob problem, my problem for having the can a little bit too long in my cupboard down there, that we had a little bit of a spillage. Yeah, maybe... Maybe a little re-fermentation has happened in the in the can. Kind of hoping for good things though. Hoping for good things. Um, that head is dissipating very, very quickly. So look at the haziness in that glass of beer. Being called a cream ale, yeah, it's going to be hazy. It's going to be a nice hazy looking beer like this let's uh good good carbonation going on uh two to three finger white head that's dissipating very very quickly let's get a little bit more of the beer in just really wanted to get it done in the end i really wanted to get it done because um, there's such a fantastic brewery, such a fantastic brewery at uh, Anne's Batch and Hob Day. Let's get the aroma then on this beer. Oh yeah, oh it's really hoppy. Saying, reviewing the hoppy beers first is really quite floral. Oh it's lemons and grapefruits going on. You get you get a sense of that kind of creaminess somehow in the beer as well. It smells like limeade. Let's dive in. It smells good. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. I think I was put off by the name a little bit. Isn't it funny how the name of a beer, the, the, the cream ale, put me off a little bit. I was like, ooh, one of those, maybe it's one of those lactose beers. And then what happens then, it kind of slides its way to the back of the cupboard. And then it's Sunday evening, so Sunday afternoon, I was having a dig round in my beer cupboard down there. And I was like, ooh, I better get that reviewed. Um, but it's, it's actually rather nice actually rather nice mm. nicely carbonated very drinkable very very drinkable beer oh I wish I, I wish I got into this like weeks maybe months ago we've always been very honest on the channel there's no point in 
fluffing about, you know, telling fibs type of thing. Oh, the, 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 this is a really fresh beer. You know, there's no point in doing that because one, it's not fair on the brewer. And two, it's not fair on you guys either because I'm probably going, ah, you know, this beer is not very hoppy. You know, it's not very really this, not very really that. But this is, this is remarkably hoppy. It's remarkably drinkable for... For what it is, it has, there's, there's been a little bit of re-fermentation re in the can. You can see that. I give it a bit of a squeeze before I opened it. And it was very tight. I was thinking, ooh, might have a bit of a bomb on our hands. But it was okay. It was okay. I hope they still brew this. I hope they still brew this beer. If ever I'm down at Anne's Patch and Hob Day, I would love to try this super fresh because after it being a few months old, it's still really, really good. It's really refreshing, really drinkable beer. Like a mixture of lemon and limeade with some grapefruit and some orange peel and it's really good it's really good I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I've I've taken so long to get round to it right an American style from the pre prohibition era remastered for London today the cream ale brewed exclusively with laurel hops delivers floral herbal and bright citrus aromas it gets a smooth character from the use of flaked corn and oats. All of this combines for an easy drinking, refreshing beer. It really is. It really is refreshing. I cannot state enough how refreshing this beer is. How lovely and drinkable this beer is for 4.5% ABV. And let this be a lesson. Let this be a lesson for you. The lesson is... The lesson is, and it's a lesson for myself as well, even after I've drunk 7,000 beers, is don't always judge a book by its cover. That's a classic age-old thing here that I've, 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 I've read the cream ale, 4.5, it just slid to the back of the cupboard, when really I should have got hold of this a few months ago and I should have got into it because it's still incredibly, incredibly drinkable. Light crisp malts coming through, lovely floral, juicy, I'm getting tangerine, lemon and lime. Really good, really good. But then how funny is that is because I reviewed their Ordinary Bitter, absolutely love their Ordinary Bitter. But I reviewed their Ordinary Bitter and I loved that as well. So that lesson should have been there. That, sh that lesson should have been there at the very start. The Ordinary Bitter is a superb beer. If you can get a hold of that from Anne's Batch of Hob Day, that is, a, that is a, probably one of the most amazing 20, you know, 2021 best bitters out there is... Anne's Patch and Hob Day's The Ordinary Bitter. It's terrific. This is equally as good. This is equally as good. If there's a brewery that I want to visit in London in 2021, it is Anne's Patch and Hob Day. Every time I drink one of their beers, I'm completely blown away. Let's rate it. Juicy drinkable, creamy mouthfeel, lemon and lime, bit of, bit of mandarin, bit of orange peel and tangerine flavours coming through, a little bit of bitterness coming through, probably lost a little bit of that bitterness, um, it probably would have been there a little bit more, that biting bitterness on the back end, but this is terrific, absolutely terrific. When I say like it's really old, I'm reviewing this in f very early February 2021, and it doesn't go off until the end of May, the end of May 2021. So there's still, there's still about four months shelf life on this, to be honest. 
I'll show you. There you go. Rating. The Cream Ale by Anne's Batch and Hob Days a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.